Well, good morning and welcome to the palatial estates of the Rick Helps Real Estate Travel Trailer. <laughs> I'm about three and a half hours of, uh, to my destination. I'm headed up to the Northwest Washington area. I am right now just on the other side of the river from Portland, Oregon in Vancouver, Washington. I drove about 10 hours yesterday. And so I went up through Nevada and Southern Idaho and then Oregon. So it's quite an interesting trip. You know what's between Las Vegas and the Idaho border? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, absolutely nothing. Good morning, Tobias. It's just, and when you look on Google Maps and it estimates how long you're going to drive there, they need to put in a little thing that says, I'm towing a trailer because uh, it's considerably longer than what they told me it was going to be. So, but everything's working out great. I'm having a good time. And uh, I've got competent, hands and helping hands in the Phoenix area, helping me with transactions and everything's going smoothly. So thank you for all the support out there from my team and things are going well, but boy, I just wanted to share a couple things this morning. I wasn't quite sure how the broadband, I mean, the, uh, uh, the data was going to work, but it appears to be working okay. So that's a good thing. And we'll see what happens when I get to Lake Crescent, Washington. And I hope that I can broadcast there out on the picnic table to show you guys a view because it is nothing short of phenomenal. So today we've got a little over 7,000 listings on the market and uh, we have about the, the seven day moving average is remaining about the same. Um, I'm not going to pull up the chart right now because it gets kind of wonky on my laptop here. So let me just read you some of the numbers and we we're still seeing a bit of a stall. So we have 3,971 homes hit the market, 3830 go under contract, and we have the lowest gap between contract and coming on the market that we've been tracking for quite some time, only 141. And it's not because we had more buyers, it's because we have less listings. So something is going on in the listing world. And we were, listing started screaming right after the first week of August. And it looked like here we go. Even the Cromford market index was going this way. Gilbert looked like it was going to be a normal market by the end of this month. And then it just plateaued. Normally in August, we don't get a lot of listings. But then the first week of August, we started seeing all kinds of them come on. Now, granted, considerably lower than where they've been. Um, so they're still historically low, but it looked like they were cranking up and here we go. But then it looked like now it's gone back into a seasonal mode. Um, so it's really hard to figure out. So that's why um, I have a lot of questions. So, so we're just going to raise a bunch of questions today and then see how things look next month. And we look at it. So I'm going to share a, a, a screen here first. You know, I like to look at a lot of stuff. So I like to look at all kinds of different opinions. And uh, um, I, I, I don't make broad based uh, predictions, but I read some of the predictions that other people make. And this one's called the housing bubble blog. He's been predicting it for about four or five years now. Um, so it'll eventually happen. I'm sure <laughs> sanity is returning and competition is softening. It says uh, a weekend topic, starting with Fox business, St. Louis federal reserve president, James Bullard agrees with Powell. It's time to start reducing its hundred and billion, $20 billion monthly purchases of treasury and mortgage backed securities. At this point, I'm not sure these purchases are really doing anything helpful at this stage of the recovery because we do have this incipient housing bubble here. We don't want to be feeding into that, he says. And he from CS, CNBC investor Peter Bookvar is sounding the alarm on a housing price bubble brought on by the Federal Reserve. So let me find out where I'm at here. I kind of dance around this program here for a second. So what they're saying is that the Fed's purchase of uh, MBS of about $40 billion a month and uh, Treasury securities, they got to start winding it back because real estate's still going crazy. And uh, there's a lot of truth to that. And that's what everybody's kind of waiting to see what's happening. But then in our local market, um, this is what gets kind of interesting. So I need to pull this off. Hold on just a moment. It's uh, I'm not at home. And so I'm doing this on a laptop and it's a little wonky, but uh, I know you guys and you, you bear with me. So here is one of our daily observations and it's showing, see the red line here? This is actual sales price. And then this is the close price. So it's, it's 
the gap is closing. This is when things are going nuts. And here's the uh, close price down here. And this is the sales price. They were, they, it, it kind of acts like it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's price per square foot. So that part is, uh, uh, that gap is closing. In other words, people are not getting exactly what, what they wanted to get for their house. Um, but then the other thing I want to look at too is um, what's going on in a certain price point now. And this one is, I think I know the answer to it, but I'm going to ask you folks as well. So uh, let's see, listings under contract. Check this out. This is between 400 and 500,000. Look at this number. 2,339. It's not really the number that matters, but it's how fast it went up. So from week 31 to week 35, August, four weeks, it went up from 1898 to 2,339 in this price range. Why? Well, we saw in July that Open Door, OfferPad, and Zillow combined bought about 979 homes. Their economists are seeing things that tell them, go out and scoop up as much as you can because they're able to sell them, fix them up and sell them. And uh, they're gonna sell them to you know people that wanna live in them, but they're also selling them to investors that are looking for rental homes. That's a new dynamic in this market. I think, and we're not gonna know for a few weeks, I think they ramped it up in August in this price point. They could be about, 1200. I don't know. So that's the thing that we want to watch. And we want to look at is that what's going on? Because it's going to be really hard to see um, until the numbers come out from the county recording. So we, we can only look at it right now and speculate. But I think that might be part of that because in all the other price ranges, we're not seeing these huge, these huge leaps in purchases. Let me, uh, let me show you what it looks like in total here. Um, in total, we're, we're up all oh, from 10,000 to 11,000. <coughs> That's not huge, but if I filter it by price range and I go down to 500 to 600,000, where Zillow and Open Door don't play, we went from 984 to 11, so that's up 200. So that it may be that there's just a run on these two price points before they get too carried away. And on the 800,000 range, it went from 1,061 to 1,204. So there's a lot of questions that remain in this data that we're looking at. A couple of them. One, in the 400 to 500,000 range, is it the eye buyers that are driving that up? In the others, is it just because we had that spike in inventory? And that could be why those numbers are bigger. Because remember, we went from looking at listings on a weekly basis and saying, okay, we have uh, 5,900. And then we're down to 5,500 on Wednesday. And then we go back up to 5,900 for the weekend. Now we're playing in the mid sevens, 7,500, 7,600. So it could just be that these contracts have increased because that's really the only, there was an opportunity to have more choices and find more homes. Now pricing is still going up per square foot on closed listings, but not as aggressive a clip. In fact is August actually dipped down a little bit versus July. So there have been some declines in the sales prices, the average sales price per square foot. When you look at the asking price, that has dropped um, quite a bit. I still see only about between 650 and 750 uh, price reductions on the seven day moving average. So um, it's actually going down now. It ran about 775. And today I think we came in at 650. So people are getting the message that they can no longer just price it to the moon. So they're having to be a little more careful out there. So that's kind of what's going on in the market. So other than that, um, not too much to report. Nothing's going, see, I've left town. So there's not a whole lot going on. So hope everybody has a great day. I'm going to hit the road here. Until then, have a terrific, what is today? Today's Tuesday. Take care.